Welcome back uh, with us over the same issue is Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political and economic analyst. Good morning, Mr. Abdurrahman. Good morning to you, Hello uh, to you and the dear viewers. Uh, uh, our real pleasure. So, uh, talking about yesterday's conference, it was really very special because uh, it, it coincides with the truce that started uh, today at 7 a.m., but uh, the president, the head of state president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, give a very impressive uh, speech that important uh, that uh, included important stops and important points um, of course uh, he talked about uh, the whole situation the world is going on he talked about the region that is facing uh, difficult challenges and serious escalation in the Palestinian cause he talked about the outstanding uh, hard efforts that were taken by the Egyptian side for, for years and years, but since day one of the brutal uh, attacks against the innocent uh, civilians inside the Gaza Strip. So if you like to first talk about those points uh, in the present speech. Exactly. Um, the President uh, declared it uh, quite well to the whole world. Right. Uh, liquidating the Palestinian case is a red line, mm. can never be crossed, it can never be accomplished, it can never be uh, uh, even to be accurate in any, uh, any side, mind, or, uh, or, or, at, or intention. And also, Sinai, our national security, our national uh, security in Sinai is red line. No, uh, no way uh, any force uh, around us can force the, the, uh, the Palestinians to, uh, to be displaced from their own homeland. Uh, it was clear, Mr. President made it clear, uh, the same, uh, with the same power uh, of actions, not only words, uh, Mr. President has declared and taken in, a, in the most firm way uh, when he declared the, the red line uh, in Libya against uh, almost the same forces that we are confronting uh, in the region. I believe what's going on in Gaza Strip in Palestine is not, uh, but all, not it's nothing but, uh, but the same scheme that, that is trying to be applied against Egypt to uh, against our own national security if uh, what's going on in Palestine is the same uh, scheme another 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 version of what's going on on the on the western front uh, in Libya as another version of what's going on in uh, as uh, we are threatened uh, by um, uh, the same vicious hands and the same vicious schemes to the south of Egypt uh, in, in Sudan. So Mr. President has made it clear that we are uh, fighting back against our national security on all fronts as, as it's very important for the whole nation, the Egyptian nation, uh, to stand as one front, one army, uh, as we uh, made it clear as nation that we stand and support our, our leader, uh, standing as an army, one army. Uh, each, of course, each and every one in his post, in his uh, position, in his own way of uh, uh, doing effort. Today, we, uh, we have accomplished a uh, very important step, uh, which is uh, the truce between uh, the Zionist resistance and the Arabic uh, and the Arabic resistance in the occupied land. Well, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a small tr uh, small step on a long road, as we ha we have <coughs> I believe that we have started the right road, the righteous road uh, towards. Uh, liberating uh, the Arabic occupied land in Palestine, 
Uh, I'm sure that if the, the, uh, the Arabic resistance had started that effort, not just from, uh, not just since uh, the 7th of October, but from a decade before, I believe that uh, we, we wouldn't have been uh, talking about the Zionist existence uh, anymore. The Zionist existence will never be, uh, it, it, it won't last, and it won't be existed on the far or maybe near future. We're talking about the liberating of our, of our, of our own land in Palestine, which, uh, which means, by, by the way, a very important side in, uh, to our own national security, our own national regional uh, security, who controls Palestine. If it's the right power, we have a good neighbor, which is the Arabic uh, nation, of course. And if it's uh, not otherwise, uh, like this unit existence, we are being threatened in Sinai. So I believe it's, it's, a, it's the most important thing for the whole nation, Egyptian nation, to understand that Palestine is a national security to Egypt. And, uh, and of course, we have a long road. We have already, not just supported, we fought already to, uh, once and too many and, and, and twice for, for protecting our own land in uh, in Palestine, and no one can demand uh, anymore. But we, uh, that doesn't mean we are, we are, we are not committed, but we are committed on the right time, at, uh, as well as we are preserving uh, the rights of the Palestinians. We have stood and standing right now with the Palestinians. We, we uh, sent them uh, huge uh, lines of aid that uh, even more uh, than the whole world has sent to Egypt, we are sending them uh, the aid for, uh, for preserving the, the, the lives of the, of the people who, who are now homeless and uh, treating the, the wounds the, the, of the wounded, as well as I am sure that it's a higher, it's high price uh, of the blood sh of the bloodshed in Palestine, but it's the only price to be paid for liberating this land. We can never uh, ex expect that we can go through uh, negotiations with this unit existence, who is backed up with its own uh, uh, force of arms and backed up uh, with the, the the Western community. The whole Western community is. is standing with this, this unit's existence uh, in, on any negotiating table. But we, that's why we needed to change the terms of negotiation, to change our situation from the weaker side to a, to a stronger side against this unit existence and the, uh, the, the powers that are backing, in, backing it up. I'm sure that we have... Um, uh, succeeded in the, in the past uh, few weeks to, uh, to make it clear for the whole world who is the criminal here and who is the, 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 uh, the, the, the side that, uh, that the, uh, 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 taken his land from his rights from the face of uh, we have made it uh, the, the face of the the the, um, the Zionist existence is being uh, declared and uh, been exposed to the whole world. Who is the criminal part here? Who is the uh, the, the, the side that is that taken the rights of the of the, the Arabic nations and the whole world, the whole nations of the world has uh, felt it and uh, reacted with marches all over the world, from New York to, to London, to Paris, to Australia, to, to the heart of Europe. They have, they have now realized that the Arabic rights uh, in Palestine are since, let me, let me uh, tackle something very important here, some of the, 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 the Arabic or the, uh, the, uh, the Arabic minds or the Arab, Arabic opinions think that uh, the Zionist existence has rights in this land. Well, no. 
Let me tell you that after the flood has uh, cured since uh, about 10,000 years ago, he was the, 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 it was an Arabic land since the, the, the very, very beginning. Yeah. It's called the Sham. The, the, this land is called Sham. Sham is, uh, is the same uh, name of Sam, son of Noah, the prophet, and may peace upon him. Thousands and thousands of years, there, were, the, there was the, the Egyptian uh, civilization that ruled the whole uh, region, along with uh, the, 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 the civilization, the old Arabic civilization in Canaan, in, Sa in Sham uh, land, along with Kildan, in, which, which is, uh, has changed uh, its name through uh, centuries uh, to Iraq. So this is an Arabic land. Kildan and Sham is an Arabic land since 10,000 years. Only, uh, only uh, about 3,000 years when the, the, uh, the, uh, the Jewish uh, sons of, uh, or grandsons uh, of uh, Jacob, who is Israel, has occurred on this land, and for a very short time. And they were uh, condemned by Allah to be uh, distracted in the whole world as a result of their uh, hostile actions against its prophets and against the nations all around. Right. So they, uh, they have no rights in the land. Right. On that note, uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, would like to thank you, sir. Uh, the political analyst would like to thank you for talking to the Breakfast Show, and you have a good day. Uh, by this, we come to the end of this edition of the Breakfast Show for today. Many thanks to all of you. Until we see you again tomorrow morning, that's a goodbye.